Hello everyone, this is Omar. Welcome to the channel. Uh, this is the continuation of our RSCSA practice exam series. So now we will be solving question number two. Uh, in this question, it is asking you to perform following task on both nodes, node 01 and node 02 as RSCSA 9 user. So this uh, solution, this question basically depends on our previous two videos. If you haven't watched that, I recommend you to go and watch my lab setup video and the subsequent RSCSA 9 user creation with sudo access. So from now onwards, as I said earlier, we will be performing all the tasks as RSCSA 9 user and this RSCSA 9 user has sudo access. So we'll, we'll, we'll try to understand the question, configure your system to use this location as default repository. So it is asking you to perform this action, configure the repository over HTTP on node 01 and node 02. So for, for this question, uh, as you remember, in our lab configuration setup, we have already configured the repository on node 01 and node 02 with a different way, uh, a manual way. So what I have done, I have deleted the repository configuration from both node 01 and node 02, which I will show you. And then we will configure the repository as asked in this question. All right. So the URLs are provided already uh, for base OS and app stream. And URL is also provided for your GPG key location. And all of these uh, locations are over HTTP, assuming that uh, the repository configuration configuration is already there somewhere on the network, the server, which uh, for node 01 and node 02. So node 01 and node 02 should have access to these locations. So let's go ahead and look at the solution. Now let's go first on node 01. As you can see, I'm logged in as RSCSA 9 and RSCSA 9 already has sudo access. So let's go ahead and verify whether repository is configured or not. So repository is not configured on node 01. Let's check if the repository is configured. Repo list or it's not configured. So we will be configuring on node 01 first and then we will be uh, going to node 02 to complete the task. So this is the command we will be using dnf config manager to add the repository and we will take the url provided in the question so we will take the url one by one and configure our repository on node 01 so let's take this one and add it now the second one for app stream also we will at the configuration so what this what these two commands did it added the repository files under the same location which we did in our initial lab setup so under ram yum repos d so as you can see there are two files created two files for base os and for app stream now the question is also asking you to add the gpg key as well so as you can see if you go to if you go if you open these files it added a very basic information name of the repository automatically generated by a dnf config manager base url which we provided and enabled the repository now, if you just leave it at that, this may be incomplete uh, configuration because it is also asking us to uh, add the GPG key. So for that, we have to add these two. Did I? All right. So I have to use sudo because this is a privileged user configuration so I will add sudo and we will add these two parameters now what does it do if you do not if you just add this and you forget to add gpg check 
uh, you the, your configuration may not be complete and the packages will not be installed. So make sure that you add these two parameters uh, together. So you have to add g add this parameter gpg check is equal to one or gpg key to one. Right. So gpg key is already given. We have copied and pasted from there. So we are assuming that location is correct. So same thing you have to do for uh, your F stream, but always remember to use sudo because you are not root, you have to become root to perform this action. So we use sudo vi this one and then we'll add the same location out here as well. So as you can see, there are two configuration files, and when we initially checked, there was no repository configured. So if I say sudo dnf repo list all yeah. let me clear the screen so it says the, con the repository configuration is enabled and remember as i said earlier in our lab setup uh, this command actually just goes and reads the file it does not validate your url whatever is configured in one of your configuration file repository configuration file it just goes and read these files it does not validate the base url whether it exists the location exists and accessible or not so in order to do that we have to uh, perform uh, any test package installation you can you can do this in different ways i'm just showing you sudo tmf install minus y Let's install Docker, for example, for test purpose, and see if this goes through fine or not. So yes, it's going fine. So our configuration of repository is fine. It is going over the, the URLs provided in the configuration is working fine. So let's go ahead and do the same configuration in uh, not 0 02. So we will. Copy this command. We paste it in mode zero two. Add it. Always remember to use sudo if you use performing the task using the user which has sudo access. Or else you have to switch to root to perform this action. All right. So these two files are added. You know where to find these files. This is the configuration location for repository. There are two files added. Using this command, these files, these these files are automatically generated to the command. So if we again sudo vi, we will check this one. It added the base and basic information. What we have to do is we have to add gpg check along with the gpg key. So always remember to uh, use gpg check is equal to one. That is that means enable the gpg check. And then the location of the GPG key. All right, so we will do the same. We are for app stream. We'll add these two parameters. And that's it. It should have configured our repository in F repo list all. It says it's enabled again to test that it is working. We have we just install dnf install minus y docker. Yes, it's installed. So the configuration is complete. It installs. That means all our locations for the URLs, uh, repository URLs are working fine. So that's it for this question. We have repeated the task on mode 02. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.